Hey guys, Lester, and welcome back to another Fortnite video here on the channel. It took them, I think, around 12 hours to get this LTM fully up and running, but we are about to play the big battle 40v40 LTM. So, two teams battle for domination. This is exactly like the OG Chapter 1 50v50. It works the exact same, except instead of 50 players on each team, there's 40 for a max total of 80. So, we're going to queue up really quickly and get some gameplay in of this game so like how 50 v 50 used to work you spawn in you only have one life you're on a full squad of 40 members uh and you'll be fighting against the opposing side and whichever side loses all its members first loses uh people will go down they can be rezzed by teammates i believe and also a little bit of an added bonus is there is no building in this in the in the original mode there was building in this one there is not so let's see if we actually get into a lobby because literally the first like five hours this was up lobbies were not working properly and then fortnite just completely disabled the mode and they just announced it a few minutes ago uh that their mode is up and running now so hopefully it is up and running it still says creative though which is very worrisome the reason why it was so glitchy is because uh they uploaded it as like a creative map for their regular matches but it looks to be working a little bit differently now it looks to be acting like it is a creative mode because we're loading up at the bottom left you can see the count going up but um i'm hoping it works it looks like there's different guns as well i see the the og pistol is here i see the uh i saw a sniper being pointed out the og charged smg is here i'm saying og but I, it's not currently in in regular that's why i'm saying so it looks like we have a different weapon assortment that's crazy enough as it is now is it actually going to send us in in 10 seconds let's see um also on your team you can point stuff out to all your teammates that could get a little bit of annoying i'm not entirely sure this is also my first impression of the of the game we're gonna see exactly how this pans out but if we truly only have one life each this recording will go until we die or win <laughs> so we'll see how that goes um but it should be available to everyone right now you just got to look it up in your thing there's no map code or anything it's just It'll be under the Fortnite, like, recommended. Uh, it should be in the announcements as well. We are taking them in to load in. Oh, yep. As you can see, we have two bow buses. The area is smaller. I believe the storm does more damage as well. I think that was that was what they said it would be like. Uh, so, storm will move faster, I think, also. And we have limited space. And thank you, everyone, for saying to drop it tilted. We are not dropping. I am not dropping it tilted. My team is insane to drop it tilted. That's literally where the enemy bus is going why would we drop it tilted <laughs> well i'm gonna ignore what everyone else says i don't recommend doing this if you're trying to work with your team but as someone who has a seasoned 50 to 50 player and also team rumble also this is not going to play anything like team rumble do not just charge at the opponent you will immediately die you can see there's 34 people on each team so we're evenly distributed that's what i like to see i will take the ranger shotgun though uh, and unlike Team Rumble, do not take on multiple opponents. Try to sort of uh, gauge yourself and who you're fighting. Make sure you can only take on fights you can win. Otherwise, you're going to die very quickly and your team is going to lose a potential uh, ally. Because again, with every person eliminated, the team gets weaker and weaker. There is no respawn. You can see the enemy team already lost a player. They might have left the game. Also keep that in mind, similar to how Call of Duty logic works, uh, if someone leaves, you're just hindering your entire team because then that's one less person that can get kills and it's only the advantage for the enemy team. Um, but yeah, this is, it's pretty crazy. I'm excited. And yes, this used to be how it was back in the day. For those who are newer to playing Fortnite, like during Chapter 2, Chapter 3 era especially, uh fortnite originally had this mode and it was 50 v 50 so 50 players they even did a 30 v 30 v 30 as well which worked the same way and the reason why they it took them this long to get it back programmed is whenever chapter 2 came out they had a new engine running fortnite and it couldn't handle the massive lobbies but you can see when the player is downed in the distance you can actually see a uh little explanation point over their head saying that they need to be rezzed now i'm not going to res them uh because i'm sure someone on my team's got it but so far, so good. We have the advantage by one kill or one person. Um, but I'm just looting up because I want to make sure I have a bunch of healing to potentially offer my teammates and to potentially save myself if need be. Because when you get back, when you get res, you're not going to be at full health. It's going to be like any other situation. So just play it by ear. And like I said, don't don't die. Just just play it. Don't. But also don't play it like the coward's way of just hiding in a corner. Uh, work with your team the best you can. Help your team out. 
If your teammate needs something, give it to them. Again, this is supposed to be a fully cooperative mode. You're supposed to keep as many people on your team alive as you can, while at the same time diminishing the, the enemy team. Um, but people are going to play it all differently because... A lot of people have never played this kind of mode in Fortnite before, and the majority of people are used to Team Rumble, so the majority of people are going to be, as you can probably guess, just throwing themselves at people. But you can see the kill feed is racking up right now. A lot of people are downing themselves, or getting downed, I should say. So we're going to want to play this by ear. And I'm going to try to leave as much into the video as possible. I don't want it to be too long of a video, but I want it to play out like any other match would play out. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. I do see some opponents already. We are literally gunning down that poor that poor guy right there. I hit him for 20. I contributed. But yeah, what you don't want to happen is what seemingly is happening here where it's just there's multiple casualties occurring. Multiple people are getting down. Multiple people are shooting me actually. Well, one person is. Like I said, you want to be very careful with how you learn it, people. And of course, if a person is downed completely, they will drop their loot. Like you would expect from any uh, situation like this. I tried to shoot that, but I missed horribly. That was my fault. Oh, crap. Yeah, just like that, the tide can turn really quickly. Also, don't assume the numbers are factual, what you're seeing at the top of your screen, at the top right. Because if a person is just downed, it will still display them as, like, alive. So you're going to want to make sure that whoever you're attacking. Oh, crap. Okay, we downed one. Make sure you fully eliminate them as well, just so you can get rid of them off this, the board. You do not want to be dealing with them. Also, teammate, I will splash you once just in case you need it. I'm also taking one of these. There is no sniper ammo anywhere. Typical, typical battle royale. Never a sniper ammo when you need it. Was somebody just... Oh my gosh, wait. <laughs> I probably could snipe that person. Still 16v16. Someone is using gliding right now. Actually, he's right in front of me. Hello, sir. Gotta watch that because, yeah, wait. Yes! Thank you, teammate. You're amazing. And again, make sure you eliminate people because you do not want them getting resed. You do not want... Uh, that team getting any... Yeah, we're just gonna snipe you for 120. We have the OG, the OG uh, snipers back. We are good. Also make him fall back. We want them to retreat a little bit. Keep ourselves healed up. Keep ourselves good. Again, if only I had sniping. You can't build, remember. You cannot build, so you do not want to um, deal with that. I know people are pointing out enemies. That's a good thing to do. But also keep in mind that everyone on your team can see that ping. So unless you really think that someone needs to be able to hit that person, don't uh, don't just ping uh, senselessly or meaninglessly, I guess. I'm going to try to flank right now. It's probably not a good idea and it's probably going to get me killed. But honestly, I have no way of getting on top of this mountain. And that's the advantage the enemy team has right now. So I'm going to try to sneak up behind them. Also remember, when it gets to this point, the people that don't have healing are going to be in major trouble. You can see how much ammo I have. That's not a problem. But the problem is going to be just surviving. I know the top left. It's displaying people on your team as well. But they're dead. So I don't know why it's displaying them. Unless they're just downed. Oh, there's one right there. Yeah, sorry, dude. You're out. Yeah, you're out too. I gotta watch. Throw a smoke bomb. Yep. Smoke him up. Where are you running to, my friend? Where are you running to? Oops, I missed. There we go. Bro, are you trying to snipe me? You trying to snipe me? Got you. Oh, dang it. Yeah, wasn't able to do it in time. Also, I didn't realize there's still 11 of them left. I tried to get all four of those guys, but I just didn't have enough ammo. I ran out of assault rifle ammo. That's, that's completely on me. Now, you can, of choice, of course, choose to continue spectating. Um, for what I remember, if you stay spectating, you will get full credit for the match. But if you leave right now, you will not get the bonus credit for just completing the match at the end. But it looks like my team is going to lose because there are nine enemies left and two allies left. And yeah, they're just picking them off. So we're just going to leave just to make it a quicker video. 
my advice to you playing this game mode go into it not thinking of it as team rumble think of it as normal survival in a solo match or for this case i guess a squads match would be more accurate except your squad is 40 people so just make sure you are going into it with teamwork in mind however if you see people on your team being dumb like dropping and tilted at the very beginning just to die don't don't do that try to take as many enemy teammates as possible like down as many as you can finish off as many as you can um but if it's too risky don't go in try to survive as long as possible by maximizing your kill potential but if this guide or video or gameplay was helpful to you all or if you enjoyed it consider as always leaving a like on this video subscribing if you're new use my credit could be real alt unit in the current future item shops if you so choose um and yeah this is a very fun mode i'm gonna be playing it a lot from now on i do hope it sticks around for a long long time because this was the og 50 v 50 before team rumble came about now hopefully it stays as long as team rumble did either way hope to see y'all next one have a great day everyone stay safe goodbye